welding up my first set of log dogs. You want to see them? Come here, I'll show you. So basically, these are designed to hold your log up. You can either put them one point up or flip them over and put them with those up. And of course, you can use them just like this, prop the log up off the ground, giving yourself plenty of room to complete your cut. Now I know you may be asking yourself, why would you want to make a pair of these log dogs if you're a metal artist? Well, let's face it, every piece of metal art I've ever seen has some kind of a base. And for me, I'm thinking ahead. I'm thinking I'm going to start using logs to incorporate in a lot of my upcoming metal art. Even though this isn't really metal art, it's probably a great opportunity for me to show you the three different ways to cut metal to make your own log dogs. First, let's take a look at the metal cutting bandsaw. Now I'll show you how to cut these with your angle grinder. Finally, let's look at how you can use a oxyacetylene cutting torch to cut your log dogs. Get these cleaned up. Realize these are a pretty simple, simple little design that just about anybody could copy at home. But why take the time on your own to figure up the dimensions when you can get this complete detailed blueprint right off our website? And if you'd like, we'll ship these to you in a box. And remember, if you need any of the tools you've seen in this video, be sure to come see me, Mitchell Dillman, at logfurniturehowto.com and pick up your own downloadable ebook, How to Make Log Dogs. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Click subscribe and come on back next week.